okay welcome back to my another tutorial this time I'm going to create the tutorial for inventor so this is the request from the community in the inventor community in Facebook so basically uh, someone asked me to create the plate painting like this so it's basically just uh, V shape bending and then the plate pushed by the die and the punch. Okay, okay uh, let's get started. So, in the inventor, we have to create the part individually. So, we're going to create the metric part on an XY plane. Okay, starting with a line. So, this this is the uh, die so because of the die so the shape is uh, like a cavity and then I think the size is doesn't really matter so maybe probably like uh, roughly size with its uh, proportional to the plate so basically I want to align those with the constraint and then uh, this one I will put it at the middle so this position of the sketch is quite important because I like to use the plane as a reference for my assembly later on okay and then I just put the height Okay, accordingly and also this still variable I will give the opening of the V shape 40 I think is good okay and then I will put the a bit rectangle over there to ensure that if there is a radius on the bending result they will be compensated with the rectangular groove over here mm, make it a little bit more deeper okay I think it's enough and then I just go and extrude with the mid plane over here and I will create a 25 okay so I will put the fillet over there 2 millimeter fillet just to make sure that the plate is not scratching where they are uh, doing the bending process okay so I'm going to save with the die fee and then I create another file right now I'm going to create the upper punch so okay click the it's just a simple sketch which is uh, to create the upper part I have to trim it a little bit okay and then I just put the constraint accordingly and then maybe I will put the um, let me try to put this one over there oops oops okay I will undo it Okay, so I need a constraint over there. So that one is already here. Okay, and then I think I need the angle 90 degrees. And then also have the same line over here, left and right. Okay, things are good enough. And then this one is uh, 40. And also I will put the height be 30 is enough and then I will put the center point here to the center point okay again the center point is important to create the assembly later on so make sure that the center is at the correct position okay, okay and I will put the fillet over there just using three millimeter fillets okay 
Okay, that will add. Okay, I think it's uh, done. And then I will save this one. Uh, in using the punch. Oh, I already have a punch V. Maybe. Mm, I will keep the another name. Okay, and then right now the last part will be the plate. Just one millimeter thickness plate. So I'm going to put it at the middle using the center rectangle and then 20 as a width and then 1050 maybe more 60 I think. Okay, then you just extrude the plate with the one millimeter thickness. Okay, I think I need to put a little bit longer. Okay, okay, and then create a sketch on the surface to create the bending line, and make sure that the bending line is at the middle point. Okay, in the middle of the plate. Then I will use the pen command here with the three millimeter radius, and then I think I'm going to rename the angle, okay, and then the bending line over there, okay, and then select the midpoint, okay, think it's good enough, okay. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so the angle will be over there. Okay, and then save as a different name, which is I think the plate. Okay. Okay, and then the next process is to create the assembly file, which is going to place all the part and then. I will place the grounded place at the for the die fee and then the next one will be the punch upper here. Okay, I will put over there. Then I will use the constraint to create the constraint. So I'm going to use the origin of each part. Okay, okay, I think so. I continue with uh, another plane. Okay, okay, yeah, slide smoothly. Now I will place the V shape plate. So, this is the specimen which is we going to bend, and you just rotate on the x direction accordingly okay one more thing is enough yeah okay okay nice so this plate this plate we have to make it straight so you going to create the Zero point one degree of uh, angle. Okay, save it. The file, pending assembly. Then I'm going to constrain the plate with uh, also using the x, the origin as a reference. Okay, that one, and then also with the uh, another reference of the. Okay, not that one. Yeah, I think it's uh, that one. So be careful on this one. Make sure which one is the correct, correct uh, angle or correct side of the plate. 
otherwise it will be upside down I couldn't see much clearer where is the where side is the correct one ok maybe I will shoot to change the bending angle a bit to make sure that I choose the correct oh I think yeah that one is a bit yeah I think it's the correct one this one ok then continue with the tangent constraint that one with the a bit tangent over there ok yeah ok ok so they will stick together that one with the tangent for here no not that one I think uh, I think it's not that one the other way ok yeah yeah ok that's good so they can slide easily and we have to go with one more constraint to make sure that they will align perfectly ok that one with the uh, yeah over there no I think let me see oh no I have to edit right click edit and that one yeah I think it's uh, ok good ok now we are going to animate this one uh, before that you should create the parameters to be driven so this is the pin and then this one you should change to the units to the degree and then this one will be 0 0.3 degree and then this one will be pin so it's linked together between the user parameter with the model parameter ok it's linked together ok ok and then create the animation timeline for there and then you just choose the parameter setting make it favorite and then at the favorite you just right click animate parameter from 0 0.3 to 90 degrees and then how long 6 seconds I think is good enough ok that's it you see here when I play ok let's see ok that's perfectly smooth bending process ok that's good very nice nice fit perfectly ok and then if I rewind ok ok that's nice perfectly ok I think uh, is enough for this uh, tutorial this time if you guys any have any question or any uh, comment please don't hesitate to write a comment below and then don't forget to subscribe my channel and then see you in the another uh, interesting tutorial and if you have any requests please say it in the comment below Hello,